living the RV life or living on the road in your van or even car is a great experience. Uh, it's a freeing experience. Some people do it uh, who are retired. Some people do it um, as an adventure seeker. And some people do it because they're destitute. They're struggling and they, they have to find the cheapest way to live. So what I can, uh, what I want to share with you in this video is another way to make a level of income on the road that doesn't require a high skill set, meaning most people with basic functions can get this job and it can help supplement their life if they're living on Social Security, SSI, or if they make money but it's very little and they have some extra time uh, to put in some uh, work here. And so let me share with you in this video that if you wanted to be a campground host, you can basically get free housing. You can get a campground with full utility hookups uh, for the month and for several months. I'm going to give you the details here in a minute. And pretty much uh, for about 20 hours a week of work, and there's different types of work, it doesn't have to be manual labor, you can basically subsidize your own housing so that you're living in a state park for several months out of the year, not paying for it, but working to supplement your rent. And I think that's better than some low-income housing. Uh, I think that's better than a lot of other places that you can be. Uh, I've stayed at state parks, and for this video, we're talking specifically about the state of Florida, where I'm at, uh, where I spend most of my time. And... Remember, full utility hookups. So even in the summer, you have electricity at your campsite. You can run the air conditioning nonstop, and you don't pay a cent for electricity. So let me read uh, off the Florida State Park website, the campground host resident description, and I'll share with you some details. Because again, I think this is a good deal for a certain group of people that it fits who they are and what they can do and the help they may need to supplement the RV life or the nomadic life. Um, and I think it'd be a good thing. So let me put on my glasses here. So the campground host, this is off the uh, floridastatepark.org website. It goes, the campground hosts answer questions, help with maintenance, and are available for late night emergencies. Parks without campground hosts may also have volunteer opportunities. Position uh, descriptions are park specific, okay? Meaning that first you should really choose a state park in the area of Florida you want to stay because Florida is a huge state. Uh, maybe you want to go down southeast Florida, maybe you want to go northwest. So, you know, figure that out. And then they'll show you, they'll give you a link here on the website to click to show you the list of state parks. And then you can find one that's in your area. And then once you once you get that, then you can get the description of the positions they have open. Uh, a campsite is provided in, in return at no charge. So when you volunteer, there's basically two job functions from what I'm reading. I mean, each state park will have its own individual uh, job openings, but there's pretty much two from what I've seen online. One is to be like a maintenance uh, person, meaning you're going to clean bathrooms, uh, you're going to clean the campsite after other uh, campers leave. The other, if you're not into working with your hands, the other would be you would work as a clerk, meaning you would work as a park ranger who would check in the new people coming to the campground. So you would you know, be like a greeter at Walmart, but you're a greeter at the campground. So you're greeting people, you're taking their information, you'll have to have some basic computer skills to enter in, and I'm sure they'll give you some level of training. So for me personally, if I needed to do this, I would be at the park ranger station because I prefer uh, to just uh, greet people and enter data into a computer because that more plays to my strengths rather than working with my hands. I could do either or, but you'll have to evaluate your own skill set and what you would prefer to do. But if you, what it's saying here in the basic description that is if you do one of these things, you're going to get a free campsite with full utility hookups at no charge. Here's the parameters, okay, of the campground uh, host resident description, some more. So one is it says inquire early, okay, because parks, especially in the winter in Florida, the volunteer positions, they book very early, okay? So you definitely want to, you know, apply a year or so in advance. 
uh, because it, Florida is the warmest state in America during the winter. So that's why there's the most tourism in the winter in Florida. Next is most parks, regardless of location, need campground host in the summer. Okay. So all parks in Florida are going to need some level of volunteer for the most part in the summer. Okay. Why? Because it gets, it gets real hot in Florida in the summer and most people migrate north, especially campers. You know, Florida is mainly a transient state, meaning people do come in their RVs mainly for the winter and they bounce in and out. It's transient. And in the summer, there's not too much activity. However, this is why that plays to your strengths. Because if you're working at a campground, whether as a maintenance tech or a clerk, if there's not too many people in the summer and you're working as a summer, you're not doing too much work for a free campsite, okay? And what I found in life is try to sometimes do what other people aren't doing. So if you travel north in the summer, so it's going to be crowded, okay? And it's going to be a bad experience even if you're not a campground host. If you're traveling south in the winter, it's going to be crowded. So if you're staying south in the summer... And then, you know, maybe bouncing around a little bit in the winter, you don't have to deal with as many crowds. So in the summer, you're going to pretty much have your pick of a campground host. Uh, and then it basically says for a free campsite, you're going to volunteer a minimum of 20 hours per week. Um, and that's pretty much it. The maximum length of stay is 16 weeks. Okay. So four, eight, 12, so that's four months. So pretty much if you volunteer for approximately 20 hours a week at a state park, you can stay for free for about four months out of the year. And in the summer, you're going to have pretty much your choice of state park to pick from on where you want to stay. And then it gives a link to click on the specific state parks and um, uh, what volunteer opportunities are available at that state park. And then it'll give you a description. Um, like, here's an example. Um uh, Collin, Collar Seminole State Park, which I believe is like by Marco Island, Naples. They are looking for a ranger station assistant. So, you know, and then you could click on that, you get more information. And for some of these, it gives like a, when they're looking for the campground host, it'll give the months. And so this one, it says, uh, they're looking for a campground resident host, and they'll give you full hookups from May to August of this year, 2020. So May June, July, August, four months. Now, I, in my experience in being in Florida, you are good to stay until late August, early, I mean, until late July, early August. Towards the middle of July, September, and into October is the height of hurricane season, and it's the most hot. However, look, for, you know, unless you're a maintenance tech, you may be working outside so much, but if you're in the ranger station, and again, when you're at your campsite, you're going to have full utility hookups. So it may work for you, and you don't have to stay the whole summer. You can work. There's some of these that run from April to July, okay? So you can work till July, and then you can leave the state, and you can go do something somewhere else. But I want to share with you, again, go to floridastatepark.org, uh, Google Florida State Park Campground Host, and it will give you that information and direct you to the basic links that you'll need to click. Okay, so if you're working 20 hours a week, as an example, at one of these state parks for free, basically free rent for four months, the normal person works about 40 hours a week. So you could work another 20 hours, maybe doing DoorDash, Uber, or whatever, or, you know, just, you know, doing some other type of work on the side to get your, maybe your living expenses covered. However, again, if you have social security, if you have some other type of passive income, and you just need something to supplement that, then all you would have to do is work the 20 hours as a volunteer, and then you don't have to pay rent. And the only expenses you would have to cover each month is your food, uh, any insurances you have to pay, etc. So I want to share with you, especially for those who love Florida, and I'm sure if you go to other states and look at their state park campground host volunteer, I'm sure you'll find very similar opportunities, okay? So are you going to become a millionaire doing this? No, but for many people living the RV, simple RV life or the van life or the nomad life, you're not trying to really be a multimillionaire, be nice, but you just want to cover your essentials. You want to have a little leftover and you don't want the stress of the rat race. So this would fit possibly into that pocket. Now, the other thing I want to address in one of these state parks, I did see a lady living in her minivan for four months. She ran an extension cord from her campsite that has full utility hookups into her car and she had a heater and an air conditioner in there 
Now, she was technically considered a tent camper. So again, can you do that at every state park? You'll have to ask when, obviously, if you apply and inquire, I can't speak for them. But I did see a lady living out of her minivan, so one state park allowed it. So hopefully this video and this information helped or it spurred you, inspired you, it enlightened you or whatever, got your juices flowing in life, okay? Because my juices are flowing. I'm sweating right now. I'm Florida. I appreciate if you click that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're not, check out my Nomad playlist, check out my Patreon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace and love.